Alrighty, in today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new Notion Formulas 2.0 update. And there's a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of helpful YouTube videos. There's a lot of really great resources already on YouTube to show you how to use Notion Formulas 2.0. And so in this video I'm going to be just going over my perspectives and sort of the lens in which I'm going to sort of approach Notion Formulas 2.0 and how I will be sort of thinking about how this will shift who uses Notion, what starts to get created, and what opportunities this whole update allows for. I think there's six key perspectives that I'll share in this video. They're basically just a simple toggle with some basic text on them, but yeah, let's, let's jump into this real quick. So I think a lot of people have seen the 2.0 updates page on Notion by now. And I think it's also really helpful to understand the syntax. And I think the syntax is basically is what drives formulas. And so abstractly speaking, the update page has a lot of great ways to describe the opportunities that exist in Notion with a lot of the terminology built into Notion. But obviously, if you're sort of new to Notion, it's kind of hard to understand what opportunities exist with this new update. So I think real quick, I'm just gonna just scroll down this list. There's a lot of different and new formula functions and I just highly recommend you check out this page. I'll link it in the video description for y'all, but uh, I think it's very, very informative and I think it's probably a page to bookmark if you want to sort of use formulas seriously. I guess before I start going back to where I was at with my perspectives on this new update, I don't think Notion formulas should be the first thing you look into if you're just starting out with Notion. And I think it should sort of be secondary to understanding how databases work, how relations work, and how you can find value by sort of combining database properties and using them specific to database views and also taking advantage of database templates before you sort of look into digging real deep with Notion Formulas 2.0. And the reason why I say that is because I think one of the videos I saw recently said that Notion's Formula 2.0 is built by developers and it's for developers. And so I think it's a good thing to note when you don't have as much coding experience or programming experience. I think a big part of coding and programming is the ability to call variables and manipulate variables. And so if that's not something you're used to doing or familiar with, I don't think Notion Formulas 2.0 should be um, at the top of your list when you're trying to learn the ins and outs of Notion and how you want to use it for yourself before you start creating for other people or you start monetizing your templates or whatever you want to do. So. I think with this new update, there's significantly less barriers to entry. I think in the past, if you had a chance to use the Notion formula property, the prop variable had to be called for every single name. And so what would end up happening is you'd mess up the, the syntax or miss a quotation mark or a parentheses and your formula would break and sometimes you might have the formula completely right, but it's just a matter of missing a comma or a parentheses or a quotation mark. And so now they've sort of changed that to just the name of the property, which is really helpful. And it sort of quick selects or quick toggles when you do finish typing or when you're typing something and it matches a, a property name, it'll start to autofill. I also think it's there's a lot more guidance around Notion formulas to begin with. There's so much already after just a few days of the update happening on YouTube. And I think there's a lot of opportunities to use 2.0, but I think it's it's good to learn the, the new notation. They have dot notation, which just means you add a period and then name a variable to call or select a property type. And I think that's gonna be a really awesome opportunities for people to learn more systematically. It sort of makes the old way of doing Notion formulas obsolete. And so I think in some ways, although there's less barriers to entry, it's also sort of leveled the playing field for all creators in terms of brand new opportunities that this formula property can do. I'll get into that over the next few minutes here. So another point to be made is the transferability from Excel and coding. I think as someone who 
started to use Excel first and then eventually got into Notion. It's slowly matching a lot of the ways in which you can manipulate cells in an Excel spreadsheet within a Notion formula property. I think a lot of the, the new formula functions that they just introduced are a reflection of that sort of built by developers for developers perspective that another video I saw on YouTube introduced. And I think the JavaScript language is a key inspiration to this dot notation and everything else that comes with it. So what that also does is I think it becomes even more intuitive for people with programming experience. I think it, that comes drawing in a new demographic, a new industry, and a new knowledge to Notion that might just exceed what anything we can possibly imagine because some of these formula properties can be an insane way of organizing various things simultaneously and through one single property. So I think that's really important to note. So I think we're going to see a lot of people from computer science, a lot of JavaScript or general programming backgrounds, even if they aren't a software developer making 100000 to $500,000 in a big company. If you have a basic knowledge of coding, I think, again, this Notion Formulas 2.0 just reduces those barriers for people that might be interested in, in using these brand new features. And I think the prop name variable calling of the previous Notion formulas was a huge drawback to coders. And I think that should be a big appeal uh, moving forward. And I think, you know, to sort of build on that transferability from Exxon coding, you can sort of call name many variables at once. And so instead of having to recall the same operations over and over again, you can list variables like you would in a mathematical or scientific equation and create even more nested layers, relationships among all these properties. And I think from a mathematical and scientific perspective, that is a big appeal within Notion because now you can sort of create formulas, templates, almost anything imaginable where you're sort of relating formulaically through variables. I think it's because it's even easier to aggregate and simplify many variables at once, through the let function. And it just creates that, creates less barriers to sort of want to try and learn Notion 2.0 and create amazing things that I can't really describe, but I hope you get what I'm trying to say. The next point that I want to make here is rollups aren't as handy, right? So basically with these new formula functions, you can filter, locate, map, you know, do, do everything uh, a rollup couldn't do in one centralized place. I think oftentimes we had to create several relations and rollups and then create a formula filter to sort of get the output that we were looking for. But now with Notion Formulas 2.0, the rollup is almost, besides the default functions that it offers, it's not as versatile, it's not as useful or practical as just using a formula and using the dot notation to manipulate variables through different formulaic functions. Not having to create a rollup every time will be a game changer, especially because in the past, formulas were an intermediary step for rollups to pull information in the way we wanted. So I think that's a pretty big deal. And I think, again, you got to sort of create the relation to even have this rollup feature and functionality in a Notion formula. And so even before you create relations among your databases, if you're, if you're still new to learning Notion, Again, I highly recommend learning the foundations and basics of Notion databases first before you sort of dive deep into the realm of formulas. I think it'd be extremely healthy to learn from various YouTube creators like myself to learn through copy and paste or templates that other people have offered. But again, it's not something you're gonna le learn overnight if you don't have a sort of programming, deep formula understanding background. And so just want to warn that to folks who you know are desperate to get started, but might be afraid to sink in a lot of time right before you getting anything out of it. There comes some huge customization opportunities as well. Rich texts, meaning you can basically manipulate text, color, titles, headers, outputs, create links now, which is a huge deal. Previously, if you were to just refer relationships in a formula, it would only output via text and that text would not be clickable. It would lose that sort of clickability that a relation property has. But now in this new Formula 2.0, you can manipulate that text to sort of style it in the way you want. And now you don't really need to 
worry about cl the clickability when, re when referring to properties, especially within a relationship context or even a page. In another video, I'll show you all this, go over it. But in this case, I just kind of want to go through my perspective. So the last point is the infinite potential, right? Um, basically, I think there is a huge, huge shift in the way we treat the use of formulas. And I think eventually Notion will become known for its formula property first before its other functionalities. Because the, the Notion formula property allows you now to glue, manipulate, do whatever you want it to do within the context that best fits your needs. Basically just simplifies the need to use a roll up or to sort of take a detour around manipulating certain properties. And basically, it's a shortcut to manipulate everything you need in one place. I think this was more of a ramble video, but obviously, if you feel like this made sense or if you feel like this is a boring video, please let me know. I think um, with these videos, I want to be accessible with my audience. So whether you're really good at Notion, whether you're really experienced with Notion or whether you're just getting started, important to sort of balance out my content in a way where it's informative and it's not always very dense, right? Tell me what you think about some of my takes, some of my points, right? I think there's so much opportunity in Notion Formulas 2.0 that it's it's already just worthwhile to talk about the bigger picture before we sort of dig deep because it's one of those things where you can easily get lost in the sauce. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching this video. If I'm thinking of doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers, perhaps, not sure what I wanna give away. But um, yeah, hope you have a good week ahead and thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my ramble.